Hey everyone, James here, trying to do a bit of good. In this video, we're going to be talking about the sort function. And similar to the limit function and the skip function in the previous videos, um, the sort function uh, acts the same way. Right now in our application, we're using the .find function, the, function, um, the find function, to get all the documents back from our collection of bit or bits. And um, with the sort function, we're taking those documents and putting them in order that we clarify and what we define here. So in the sort function, they take a object. And this object is based on the key value pairs of our schema. So um, in our function, we have a last name that we could sort on. So last name could be the first, um, could be the key value pair. And the second one would be whether, what type of order we want. So if I wanted to be in an ascending order by last name, it would start from A to go to Z. And let's see it. So once we start this application, npm start, Sounds good. And then we refresh the page. Cool. Then we have Rhea and Krish with last, uh, with last name starting with C and D coming first while James is last because his last name starts with W. If we were to put one in descending order, we would do uh, DSC, save, um, restart the application. And now you can see um, James is first. If we want to, now if we want to do it on a different order, um, a different um, key pair, say age, because now that's a number, um, and restart the page, it works the exact same way. If we refresh with descending order, um, ages 22 are, for, uh, are first, then all the way down to 19. If we do ascending order, we start the application. We know it is the exact opposite. Um, the same thing works with any data type, uh, specifically with birthdays, uh, with the date. Uh, Mongoose and MLab and Mongoose are able to recognize the differences. And so with the data type there. Now we have um, the birthday in 1996. Um, in ascending order coming first before 1999. And this is made possible by how we explained previously with the exec function. Um, there's also one more, uh, another way. Um, there's multiple ways we can do it, but with negative one, we can also see that um, a certain order is given. So Chris is still first. If we do one, Refresh the page. Now Rio's first. 